Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a gigantic haul. So this is all going to be Christmas stuff and Black Friday stuff, a few craft things, but mainly just Christmas presents. So this first clip is gonna be kind of weird. Um, a lot of this, like, not a lot, but some of the stuff I bought yesterday was like little snacky things that I wanted to try yesterday. Like I was out shopping and my boyfriend was like, hey, can you buy me snacks? So yeah, so that's what these clips are. Uh, Dollar Tree, Big Lots, and Five Below. You know, I spent way too much money on snacks. But I wanted to show these to you guys so that you can see where some of that money went when I'm like, oh, I spent this much at Five Below, but I'm, or this much at Big Lots, but I'm only showing you two items. Um, so yeah, there's that for a bit of clarification. But let's just get right into this. At the end of the video, or in the title, I guess, I will put how much money I spent. So, yeah. Okay, so the first place I went to is Old Navy. We used to have Old Navy. It shut down. It recently opened back up, and I have not gotten a chance to go in there. So I went in there just to look and see if, you know, they had anything I wanted to get for anyone for Christmas. And I found these boxers. They have sushi on them. And they were on Black Friday sale for $5. They're normally $12, so that was a good find. Next is going to be Kohl's. So the first thing I picked up was this pen. It has a ruler on it, a level, screwdrivers, and it is a pen. And I think it was $5, and I got it for my boyfriend for Christmas. Also, it was on a Black Friday sale. And then, I mean, I did actually go there to pick up this game because it was on a Black Friday sale for $8, I think. And then I got this little gumball machine. Original price, $24. I got it for $17. And then these I was just walking through and I saw them. And they're these Tech Gear like cargo joggers, ultra soft fleece. So they're just like jogger sweatpants. They have like, they're fleece lined. They have big cargo pockets. Regular price, 35. They were on a Black Friday sale for under $12. So I got my boyfriend a pair. Now let's do TJ Maxx. So the first thing I got was this little condiments on the go, which honestly I just wanted to have really tiny dishes to put like ketchup and a lot of times I mix ketchup and ranch together. I just, I just thought it'd be nice to have a little mini condiment jars and they were only $3. So I got those for us. And then I got these little Christmas colored hair clips for my mom for $5.99. And then this strawberry phrase, I think that's how you say that. Anyways, this strawberry Burt's Bees lip balm. My boyfriend's been super into Burt's Bees lip balm for whatever reason now. So I got this little Valentine's strawberry one for him for Christmas. And then I got this little coffee cup that says Merry and Bright for $4.99. And I got this for my mom. I always get her coffee cups and I figured this would be a super cute one for this year. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys how much I spent at TJ Maxx. It was $22.84. Next place we're gonna do is Target. So I'm just gonna get these two big guys out of the way first. So as you can see, there's this one and this one. And they are exactly the same. I'm trying to get the whole thing in the frame, so now I'm just like hitting the tripod. But the other day at Target, my boyfriend really wanted one of these. And yesterday I saw that they were on sale, Black Friday sale, for half off. So they were 10 bucks. And I figured, you know, if I get him one, I have to get myself one to defend myself. So that's how we ended up with two. But I mean, two for the, for the price of one, not bad. And then I got this board game, The Real Truth. So I got these little wall chargers. 
They had a gnome one too, so I was debating between the gingerbread house and the gnome, but I really liked the gingerbread house, so I got this. And it is $5. And then I figured my boyfriend might want one too, so I got him this little penguin one. So recently found out my boyfriend's obsessed with lemon heads. So I got him two boxes. And then this was only five bucks. And it is a throw blanket and it has campers and bears and trees. And my mom likes campers or something. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. But she I think she likes campers. So there we go. So I'm gonna show this first thing here. So it is just the Hellfire Club t-shirt from Stranger Things and it was I think it was like nine dollars and then okay so these are glowing zombie poop and I think they're just like firecrackers I don't know if that's the right word but they're just the little things you'd like throw at the ground and they make a little popping sound anyways they were three dollars and I thought they were weird and funny and my boyfriend really likes plants for zombies and this reminded me of that so I got them and it carded me and I didn't even think about that, that technically it is a firework. So like they, the lady had to come over and scan my ID and she was like, you have to be 18 for these. Ma'am, I'm almost 20. I, I'm old enough for these. <laughs> and then this winter pom pom mix. I have a couple craft projects with these. I don't remember how much this cost, but it was pretty cheap. And then ornament hooks just because I needed them and I knew they were going to be the cheapest ones around. And then I got two things of pipe cleaners to do a few different crafts with. I think those were 98 cents each. And then I found these fat quarters that are the exact fabric that I wanted for Alex's Christmas stocking. So I got two of them because I don't really know how much I'm gonna need. And then I just got some little felt squares. They were, these were 32 cents each. So I've seen these, these whatever things from Old Spice in the store quite a bit at Walmart, you know? So I asked Alex what smell he would want if I got were to get him one. And he said he wanted this one, so I got him this one. And then, this is the only thing I went to. This is the only thing I went for, to Walmart. Um, this Jumanji game. I specifically wanted this one because it has, it's like the, the deluxe wooden one. 20 bucks, not bad. Next, let's do five below. Also, sorry if things keep being angled weird. My desk is like this like this and I have the camera like diagonal but I got this little tray I suppose it's probably like a jewelry holding tray but I'm totally gonna use it to display jewelry for pictures it was only two dollars and then they always have really fun high chew flavors that I've never seen before um and they had these which I've never seen before so I'm gonna get these for Alex so I got these for Alex because I know he will like the berry flavors probably and then they have all these board games that are five dollars there was quite a few that I had thought about, but uh, you know, at that point, this was after I went to all the other stores. So I had already spent like $300. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're not gonna spend $100 on board games. Um, so I just got this one because I figure it's probably pretty good. Now I'm gonna do big lots. So I got these wild blueberry scones for us. And then I got this one for my mom for Christmas. Next, we're gonna do Ross, but I'm gonna do this bag first because it has something fragile in it. Okay, it looks fine, but. <laughs> It's a mini, it's a mini couch. It was in the jewelry section. I was like, oh, maybe you put your jewelry on it. No, it, so this is, the mirror is like falling off, but um, it's a little jewelry box. And then they had this miracle Christmas with magical blue, or yeah, blue butterfly pea tea. So I think that it's the one where you like make the tea and then you add something and it turns blue. I think I've seen it on social media and stuff and looking really cool. It was on clearance for $1.49. And then I got this two pack of canvases for $3.99 for one of my friends because I realized that I hadn't gotten him anything except for the Minecraft sword from Spirit. This is a little like beginner's guide to making sushi. I am obsessed. They also had a really big kit that was all fancy and it had like a magnetic opening and there's a really nice quality book in there. Two sets of chopsticks, the um, bamboo 
rolling mat thing. <laughs> um, yeah, sushi rolling mat. And it had little, like, like the little plates you put the sushi on and the little, like, bowl things that you'd probably put soy sauce in. But that one was $15. This one was only 6 so I had to go with this one because there's already so much other expensive junk I didn't need that I got from Ross. And then I got this little blue velvet bracelet stand bracelet holder. I got this sketch set for my friend, the spring roll wrappers. So I guess I'm gonna teach myself how to make spring rolls too. I got this big box of Hello Panda. Ooh, it's already like ripped open. I hope none of them fell out. Anyways, it comes with eight bags. So I'll probably keep four bags for myself and then I'll put four bags in his stocking or something. And then I got him, oops. I got him this dark chocolate raspberry Ghirardelli squares for $3.99. I know that he likes this one and I hate dark chocolate. So <laughs> I figured I would get him this so that I won't ask for any. And then these Marion Bright gnome kitchen towels. There's two of them. And okay, yeah, they say they all have the same print on them both ways. And then this little Jelly Belly dispenser. It was only $3.99. When we were at Hobby Lobby the other day, we saw one for $10 that he really wanted. And I told him no, because obviously I was going to get him one for Christmas. And then I saw it at Ross for less than half the price. Next, we have Michael's. So this first thing I got is this Creatology Shrink Art keychain making kit. And then, so literally all day, I've been looking everywhere for fake fur to use as the trim for Alex's stocking as well as I have another little project that I want some fake fur for. And then I finally found it at Michael's. $13, but it was 60 or 70% off. I think it was 70% off. So I got a really good deal on that. And then they finally had a whole bunch of their bead landing found, oops, that's not even in frame. Um, bead landing found objects, charms. I feel like whenever I go in there, they're always picked over. But this time I found a bunch of really cute ones, but there was no sale sign up. So I looked on their app and they were half off, I believe. So I just got the deer skulls. And then this pack that has a ram skull, a bone, unicorn skeleton, raven skeleton, skeleton hand, and an antler. And then the whole reason I went there is they had their beads are all 60% off. So I think it was like $2 for each of these. Now let's do Dollar Tree. And this is gonna be my last store that I went to. So this is the main thing I wanted. These little jar ornaments. And then I found this little mini cloche. So excited about that. No clue what I'm gonna do with it yet. And then I just got this mini cinnamon broom. I always get these for my mom every year for Christmas. And then I found these butterflies. And honestly, I didn't need them, but I just wanted to have some Dollar Tree ones so that I can do Dollar Tree crafts with them that are fully everything bought from Dollar Tree, if that makes sense. These next things are kind of weird, but they go together. So I got this vase and this bowl to make a little mushroom thing with. And then I got this yarn. It's just little furry yarn. I might use this instead of the fake fur for my little ornament project, but we'll see. This last thing is very weird. So it's just a little like chips and dip party tray thing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this to Thanksgiving. There was a meme somewhere that somebody was using one of these to separate their food. And I will be doing that for Thanksgiving. And the meme was about it being like the ultimate Thanksgiving plate. And I sent it to my mom and my boyfriend and they thought it was funny. And so now I'm gonna be like, oh, you thought this was a joke? <laughs> no. Uh, so yes, I will be eating Thanksgiving dinner off of this so that none of my food touches. But that is gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna put on the screen right now how much money I spent. And I'm really scared to add it all up, honestly. Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe. I know I'm gonna have other Christmas haul videos, Christmas shopping hauls, and other like Black Friday or Black Friday deal type hauls that are hopefully gonna be on a much smaller scale. Um, so definitely subscribe to see those. Tell me in the comments down below what your favorite item was and make sure to leave a like on this video if you like Christmas or Black Friday or saving money or literally anything because 
it helps with the algorithm and stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.